If I were to ask you this question, what would your answer be? Do you have an abundant life? When you look at your life and you think about how abundant your life is, let me just ask a couple more qualifying questions to that. An abundant life to me is a life filled with joy. That's what an abundant life would be. An abundant life to me would be a life filled with happiness. I'd like an abundant life, and if you gave me an abundant life, I would say one of the things I'd want in that life was a life of peace. So joy and peace are definitely keys to an abundant life, right? And I also believe that God has called us to have that kind of an abundant life. Here's what I think an abundant life is. I think an abundant life is a life without worry. If I could just take worry out of your life, would your life be more abundant? So that, that's a question then. If I just take worry out, if I take anxiety away, then we might have a little bit more of an abundant life. And if I replace that anxiety and that worry with joy or with peace, then we would probably say, okay, we're on our way to an abundant life. What's shocking is that Jesus in chapter 10 says one of the most compelling statements ever said by a human. He starts off in verse 10 by saying, the thief comes in to rob, steal, and destroy. But I have come that they may have life, they mean us Christians, that they would have life and have it abundantly. So Jesus is contrasting two forces really one force that's evil that's against us wanting to rob us kill us and destroy us and we'll talk about that and what he does but there's also what god wants to do in our life which is give us an abundant life and so this morning as we go into the text we're going to really look at the keys to an abundant life and i believe that it starts with faithfully following the good shepherd and so we're going to go into the scriptures this morning we're going to see what jesus what god speaks to us as, as an abundant life what that is We're going to look at the enemy and what his plan is for our life, but we're going to look at also the shepherd's heart of God and how he brings his people into a safe place filled with his love, with his purpose, and with his knowing us personally.